so we're here looking at the uh, Motorola Zoom Wi-Fi and I'm just going to give you the rundown of the software that the uh, new Honeycomb tablet from Motorola comes with and show you some uh, Honeycomb applications both ones that come on device when you buy it and the ones that you can download from the market so the first one looking at here actually is a a news aggregator application called Pulse that uh, is available from the market and it is um, free and as you can see here you can uh, scroll through top stories, business, technology uh, we can uh, go through a different couple of different tabs here and tech obviously has a uh, Engadget, all things digital, Gizmodo and uh, you get a summary of the article here and of course um, you can share it uh, Facebook, Twitter and everything else you can bring up um, a web version it's taking a little bit long to load but uh, there's a little summary of the picture here so Pulse is a pretty cool application and of course um, there is a uh, landscape mode which I'll have to uh, just zoom out a little bit so you can see that in action and in the landscape mode when you select an article it's a little bit different layout on the screen so that's a pulse and it's one of the few uh, honeycomb optimized applications available for um, the Zoom right now and um, you know going into the home screen here I think that's one of the, the biggest challenges right now for the Zoom is that um, we have here um, I guess the reference tablet we're using um, the new Android 3.0 Honeycomb it's been out for around I think um, six weeks now um, that including, including the model that's available in the States and just came out in Canada and the Wi-Fi model is actually brand new and even though it's only been out for a short period of time there still isn't really that many applications and you know that at least are optimized for Honeycomb obviously you can run um, any uh, Android phone application so for example this game here Air Attack HD um, is available uh, obviously on the phones too and it looks basically exactly the same um, there's no optimization here from Honeycomb, it's just, you know, you're playing the same game on a much bigger screen. So that's an example of a standard phone application uh, running. Um, obviously, it's, uh, in my opinion, a lot better to be playing on such a big screen. I uh, really uh, think it looks a lot better to game on such a giant screen, so but um, there's no actual difference uh, technically between this running on the Zoom and running on my phone so so going through a couple more applications we'll stay in a portrait mode for a few minutes um, comics so here I have uh, the uh, Comicsology app and I'm going to close this down and I'm going to uh, go to the Comics Odyssey store so as you can see this is not particularly um, tablet friendly there's a lot of wasted space um, but it's still certainly in my opinion probably the best uh, comic reader on the market because of the actual uh, formatting of the screen unlike the iPad which uh, has a, a 4 point uh, 4 by 3 ratio screen the um, 16 by 10 ratio of the uh, zoom actually matches um, the page size of a comic book so there's no additional black space or anything you get each page of the comic filling the whole screen so certainly uh, as a comic book reader using the um, Comixology app you you definitely would uh, want to consider the zoom for, for that 
So going through a couple more apps, let's have a look at um, the stock browser. So um, here's my website running in uh, portrait mode. Very smooth scrolling. Of course, uh, flash enabled. So I have a little video. Let's see if this uh, loads up. It's um, so it is uh, buffering a little bit. Obviously, um, flash on any mobile device is still not you know perfect, but. Uh, and certainly this is actually uh, originally a high definition video I'm running on Blip rather than YouTube so and uh, as I zoom out it pauses again or buffers so there's a Google home page and uh, let's go back into portrait mode, I mean landscape mode. Zoom in a little bit. Video still playing. And here's the uh, portrait mode keyboard. Sorry, landscape mode keyboard. And just quickly flip this around. And there's the uh, portrait keyboard. So going back to landscape mode, it's having a little bit uh, tough time switching because it's actually playing a video. And uh, while it's doing that, I'm actually going to bring up the uh, task switcher. So as you can see, I actually have quite a few running tasks. I have the comics application. Um, I had a game running, which I don't think I shut down, and Mind Tablet. So let's move into the uh, game. So here's a. Dungeon Defenders, which is one of the um, Tegra optimized uh, games available for the Zoom and any other Tegra app, um, Tegra tablet and Tegra phone such as the um, Atrix. So let's quickly um, grab a character and start. So Dungeon Defenders is a multiplayer and single player um, sort of hack and slash. Um, uh, RPG and um, tower defense game all in one. So as you can see this is running on the Unreal Engine and the graphics are um, pretty damn impressive for um, a mobile device. Certainly um, console quality graphics on a 10 inch display. This is a very very nice looking game and it's actually quite a lot of fun too. It's not just a, a tech demo of uh, the fancy graphics. So let's just uh, get out of this game and show you a couple more apps. So we have the um, Flickster movie app which has been uh, reformatted for um, tablets so as you can see you can scroll through um, current and up and coming movies on the uh, side here. And let's uh, pick this Hannah here. You know, scroll up and down. You get uh, all the standard functionality of Flixer, which combines uh, some Rotten Tomatoes reviews um, reformatted for a um, tablet style screen. And you can actually look at uh, movie theaters, find show times, um, up and coming uh, movie releases, DVD releases. So certainly uh, the Flixster app has been um, optimized very very well for the Zoom and uh, you know as a big movie buff myself I, this is an excellent uh, excellent application. Another one that's uh, being showcased would be the uh, CNN app. So um, 
obviously uh, a new story here with some uh, video on the side um, interesting it says not I'm not connected to the network but I am connected to the network maybe you have to go back let it uh, refresh and move down to some US news so this is a uh, Hmm, keep saying I'm offline, that's uh, interesting. So I'm afraid I won't be able to show you this uh, totally in action. And of course, um, there is a, uh, a portrait mode of the same application too. So this is another showcase application running on the Zoom and uh, Honeycomb. So let's go back to the home screen and a um, couple more things to look at YouTube obviously this one is an application that comes um, out of the box from Google it's just a cool sort of a 3D rotating way to browse through some of the most popular videos um, you can obviously browse by category and uh, this is a customized for the uh, for honeycomb um, search different videos and uh, TegraZone. Now, TegraZone is a, an application you download basically that um, lets you focus on um, looking at uh, some of the latest games um, coming out um, that are designed for um, Tegra based devices. So, we have a couple of uh, images and videos of some new games coming out. And when you actually um, select the title and you want to get it, it opens up the uh, Android market and lets you download it. So there's the Fruit Ninja, the um, HD version designed for Tegra devices, uh, tablet and phone. So a quick uh, look before we go at just some of the standard panels as you can see scrolling left and right. Um, you hold down and you can bring up some widgets. Um, stock widgets that come with it obviously email contacts and shortcuts uh, bookmarks a clock and um, funnily enough there actually isn't the weather widget that comes with it you actually have to download something like AccuWeather to get uh, weather updates so there we go and um, there's like you know different uh, cool features and again it's AccuWeather is another one of those uh, optimized applications for Honeycomb. There's a radar map of uh, weather conditions over southern Ontario. So that was a quick look at some of the software. Obviously there's a lot more I could go into and to more detail. Um, you know I would have to summarize to say that uh, Honeycomb is still um, in its infancy. It's only been around for six weeks and it's very similar to what the uh, iPad was when it first came out. Uh, the iPad didn't have too many um, native applications and uh, most of them were um, iPhone applications blown up to a larger screen. Obviously Apple did include some optimized applications out of the box and so has Google. Um, it's interesting though that um, there aren't as many or at least I, I feel there aren't, you know, there's Google gives you YouTube, they give you, you know, a, a slightly different version of the gallery program, they give you a, a Gmail client that's laid out differently, um, you know, obviously the browser is different on the tablet rather than the phone, but there aren't actually that many applications out of the box, and Motorola didn't really make any effort to add that many of their own custom applications to Honeycomb. It's very much a, a vanilla um, Honeycomb experience on the um, the zoom and the problem is because it's such a new device uh, there aren't that many optimized applications out in the market yet however the good news is um, there are more um, honeycomb tablets coming out very soon uh, asus acer um, dell is probably going to bring one out uh, lenovo so the more companies that start bringing out um, uh, Honeycomb, application, uh, honeycomb tablets using uh, Tegra processors, 
um, and the more they sell then the more units they'll be out there for developers to develop for and you know the incentive to actually make um, tablet optimized uh, Android applications will be there so once again software overview of the Motorola Zoom the Wi-Fi edition uh, now available in Canada from TELUS Future Shop Best Buy $600 for the um, for a 32 gig model and you're, you're watching RGB filter